Hello and welcome back to my breakdown for the latest Pokemon Journeys opening. And oh boy, this was exciting. I did not expect one certain thing to happen, but it is happening and we can all get hyped and enjoy it. But let's break down the opening and I hope you enjoy. It begins with the main trio with their partner Pokemon, Ash, Go and Chloe. And I know we keep saying this, but it definitely seems that Chloe is going to be playing a bigger role now that she's right here in the first shot. And she also went to Galar for the first time along with Ash and Go. So she's becoming a lot more important. We see them all with Leon and it looks like they're going on an adventure somewhere. We also see Chloe alongside a Galarian Ponytar. So further hints that she could be capturing it. It would suit her character really well. And after the trailer we got on Christmas Day, it looks like she could be getting it soon. I'm not sure where Leon is going with the trio. They could be heading for the Isle of Armour or something. Or this could just be a generic shot in the opening which doesn't actually imply anything that's going to happen in the main story. Next up we see Grookey alongside Subble and Pikachu. So finally we are getting Grookey appear and it looks so cool in the anime. He has a really energetic personality jumping onto Ash and Go's face and then running off into the trees. You can tell it's going to bring a different dynamic to the group, whoever catches it. At the moment I'm thinking Go is going to get it but we could have another big surprise and Ash might get it. And then we get a shot of the three legendary beasts, Suicune, Entei and Raikou. This is similar to the previous opening where we got the legendary birds and Zapdos was at the front. Whereas this time Suicune's at the front and we know we're getting a Suicune episode pretty soon. So that'll be another good one. And then is the moment we're all waiting for. We get a bunch of characters show up holding Pokeballs. Starting with Professor Oak. Awesome to see him here. We haven't seen him in a while and it's always nice when he shows up. I've always wanted to see him actually battle, as he's holding a Pokeball here, so he might actually battle. And then we see Professor Cerise alongside his two assistants, Chrissa and Ren. Karina, who is appearing again, she obviously came back to battle Ash, and she made a cameo in the B episode, where B tells Ash that she defeated her. So it's very likely she will appear again, and I'm interested to see how she's going to appear. Will she battle again, or is she just supporting Ash? And then Sonya appears which is awesome, I'm expecting to see a lot more of Sonya, Leon and some Galar action. And then B, who is of course Ash's main rival for this series, so she's going to play a massive part. Wickstrom, who we recently got in that trailer on Christmas Day, maybe he will be a recurring rival for Ash as well. Who knows, it's interesting to see what rank he is in the World Championship as he's an Elite Four member. But then the two massive characters that appear, firstly Iris. Many people have wanted this for so long, we all felt the black and white gang got done a bit dirty as they didn't return only in special episodes and not in the main anime. So Journeys is rectifying that and bringing back Iris, which is really awesome. She probably will be battling in the World Championships and I think she'll go up against Ash. We'll see how far she's come with the Dragon training and we could even get a Dragonite versus Dragonite matchup. I think that makes perfect sense. Maybe she'll even have a few new Dragon types to show off, like a Dino or something. Also, we don't see her actually with her in this shot. It could just be in its Pokeball, or it's evolved and they didn't want to ruin it. I think there's a decent chance that it could evolve, and personally, I would like that. So, that's Iris. How excited are you for Iris' return out of 10? Let me know in the comments. And then the second big name return, the one I'm most excited for, is Gary Oak. Ash's first rival, and one of my favourite characters of all time, is finally coming back. We haven't seen him since Diamond and Pearl, and it's about time he returned. And it isn't just fan service, it makes complete sense. Gary is a researcher just like Ash and Go are trying to be at the minute. And Gary obviously lives in Kanto where Ash and Go are. So it'd be weird if he didn't show up at some point. And I can see him playing a big role with helping Go out. There's been a few hints of Go becoming a professor at some point. So I think they will have a good relationship. But then also the Pokemon Twitter have said that Gary will return standing in front of Ash once again as a rival which means they're going to be battling again, and I cannot wait for that. They've only battled three times, and I've always said that we need a fourth battle between them where Ash wins again, and this is also a chance to let Pikachu finally get a win against Gary. But there's just so much excitement in this return for me. I didn't expect it. I expected either the XY gang, Iris, which we got, or Dawn, which I would have been really happy with as well. But Gary is the best return I could have hoped for. Let me know how excited you are out of 10 for the return of Gary. The rest of the trailer is focusing on Ash, Go, Chloe and Leon going on this adventure in the car. So it seems like it's a pretty big deal. They're definitely pushing Chloe a lot more in this opening. She appears again with both Yamba and Eevee. So it's clear she's going to be very important. We get a cool scene with Ash and Go with all the mythical Pokemon appearing around them. 
including Zarud, which is interesting. And then we see a rainy battle between Ash and Go and their Lucario and Cinderace. So even more evidence that they're going to be battling each other at some point. And then it finishes with Ash vs Leon, Charizard vs Pikachu, just to let us know that the big battle is coming soon and it's going to be epic. There's also a cool ending scene where we see a lot of characters we've seen so far in the series and a load of Pokemon and Ash and the gang are just driving through. So this opening was really awesome. Obviously the main two things are Iris and Gary, but there's still some epic moments other than that. But for me, Gary is the number one moment and the thing I'm most excited for. But let me know your thoughts on this opening. How excited are you for these returning characters and the storylines that are to come in this show? I feel this season of Journeys is going to get even better and it might push Journeys as a whole a little higher on my rankings. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy and I'll see you next time.